Find duplicates or a find duplicate duplicate program is something I find uh, very frustrating that is not in, uh, that isn't in Google Sheets. So I set about making one. Uh, here I'm just showing you my data, it's fake student names, grades, and such. I'm starting off with a base program here. Um, my base program, what we did is I set it up so it could look through a column for duplicated information. What I'm going to do in this video is add uh, the ability to look through rows as well. So we could look at rows and columns and search them for duplicate info. If you're curious about the first chunk of the program that I already had here, there is a video of, of me walking you through that. If you just wanna grab the code, I do post the code with my videos. Um, so you could grab the code from the last video and add this onto it, or you could grab this completed code to to help you walk through what I am doing. And we're diving right in though. So what I already have done is I copied that first function, read column data, and I made a new function, read row data. That was just me renaming it from row from column to row. And now I'm changing up some of the variables. The first variable changed from column in line nine to now on line 20, it's row. And then if you compare this again, I just copied it over line 10 to line 21. I changed it to last column as in 10, it says last row, All right? And that's because we wanna search through a row until that last column to find um, all of the, or to access all of the information, all of the values within that row, because we're going to be comparing them. And now I'm just going through and changing it throughout, get range, row, column the row and the column of that get range function on line 22 are the first two numbers the second two numbers are the number of rows so in this i'm only going to be looking at a single row but i do want to go through the rows columns because i want to make sure to get all the data so that's why i wrote last column because i want to search through all the columns uh, variable range ar array uh, so I'm turning, I'm getting the values and I'm turning them into an array. I then concatenate it because when you get the range array, when you get the values into an array, um, it actually is a multi-dimensional array. So what I'm doing in that concatenate piece of the program is turning it into a singular dimension array. And it looks like the data came through how I would have anticipated. So this all looks good. And then I'm gonna return the range array. Hmm. So I already had set up the find duplicates aspect of this, where I sort through it. And in this part, I'm getting the indexes. Now this is going to be slightly different to get. Um, after I get the indexes, what I do is I go through and highlight it in the actual sheet, I get the indexes through our arrays. Because Google Apps Script, it's very taxing on, on the application to have to continually to get data from the sheet. Google will sometimes warn you high frequency use of something um, because again, it's all going through a server. So I get the indexes from the range array. So I go through that array, I figure out where the data was in the array, and then I use that information to go through and highlight where that data was taken from in the sheet. What I'm doing here, highlight column duplicates, highlight row duplicates. So I just split off the column du duplicate highlighting function and uh, highlighting piece of that get index function into its own function. This one now is for columns. Obviously the next one is for rows. Um, I'm adding comments, I'm changing up the comments, so when I look at this in a week, I actually know what's going on, because uh, that's always helpful. <laughs> it's, it's fun to, get, to look back at a program after a hectic week or two and have no idea what you were doing. Um, I don't even want to admit the amount of times that I've done that. And then you start editing it and uh, you mess things up because you didn't pause to realize what it was. I do need to return indexes because what I'm doing there is once I return the indexes, I am going to return that into my main function. I am then going to use those indexes to highlight like I had stated earlier.
here what we're doing get range row comma index and plus one we're changing that over we're changing that over the reason we're changing that over is because row comes first in a range right and above in the get column or in the highlight column section it's indexes in plus one comma column so again it's just using the indexes we found through the array and now applying it to the actual sheet so we don't have to comb through the sheet status so much uh, so google doesn't get grumpy uh, i'm setting up two main functions now it is somewhat redundant to do this and i spent some time trying to figure out how to do all we needed within a singular function it seemed more straightforward uh, to me to just do two functions it's easier to go through this with you um, especially for those more new to javascript or to coding or kind of venturing out it's it's much more straightforward um, it was quite a task to to attempt to do it through a singular function I am variable indexes equals get indexes. Yep. And then highlight column. Oop, I hope I change that to rows because obviously that is our rows function. Ooh, uh, and I'm realizing here we are going to need the parameters. Um, of index. We'll need to pass those along so our highlight function knows what we're talking about. Add index there, add index there. Please figure out that shouldn't be column, Kurt. Nope, not yet. Oops, still, still not yet. Oh. oh. Well, hopefully I catch it sooner or later. All right, let's test out what we got. Good. Cleared all that out. We're gonna do a row main save debug. And it didn't work because I didn't change that column. I did, am I gonna figure it out? Highlight column, it's row 84. Looking, looking, looking. Aha! All right, let's run through that again. Row main. Excellent, Alvin is highlighted. Now I hard coded the rows and the columns into the actual application in the functions. You'll see there in the highlight function, it says row equals two or column equals two in the column. Up and there we go. Now the duplicates are highlighted in the column. So both of those are running through successfully. So all someone would need to do is change the variable column or the variable row in the highlight column, um, variable column or variable row in those highlight functions. You would also need to do, do it in the read row data or read column data functions. The reason I put that there um, at the top of those is because I'm hopeful, is because I want to add uh, an aspect of this with a user interface. But for now, you just change out those variables um, and that's that. So again, I'm gonna post the code. If you find these videos helpful or me helpful or not entirely helpful, please hit subscribe, please hit like, comment. Um, I appreciated it, I appreciated it, I appreciate it. It encourages me to do more, it makes, gives me warm fuzzies, um, and yeah.